السلام علیکم فرینڈس فرینڈس ویلکم بیک ٹو ایم ای بی ٹیک ٹپس چینل اینڈ ٹوڈے آئی ہیو براڈ یو اندر ویڈیو ان پلمبنگ سسٹم ٹوڈے اور ویڈیو از فار واٹر سپلائی پائپ انسولیشن اینڈ فوسٹر ورکس سو لیٹس اسٹارٹ ہیئر سو یو کین سی ان مائی ہینڈ دیر از ون پائپ سیکشن وچ از نائنٹین ایم ایم تھک اینڈ ٹوینٹی ٹو ایم ایم ڈائی میٹر 22 mm diameter because of the PPR pipe I have uh, 20 mm and the auto diameter of PPR pipe is 22 so due to the thickness of auto, auto diameter of pipe so we have to select our insulation accordingly so while ordering your insulation you must consider the auto diameter of your PPR pipe not an inner diameter so this is from cake flex company and as per the project requirement we have 19 mm thickness and you can see the thickness and the diameter of the insulation so there will be a little bit gap will be there uh, compared to ppr by auto diameter and uh, the insulation diameter 1 mm tolerance will be there so you can see here my person is cutting the insulation with the help of uh, a knife you can use any knife or you can use any other kind of uh, cutting instrument or cutting tool so the simple way of installation of water supply pipes and insulation because the is not complicated insulation and uh, pipes are very easy to install and uh, fix so you can see here because this type of insulation will save you a lot of time because of the new technology here now so he is uh, putting this rubber insulation inside the water supply spread clamp both side to hold this insulation so you can see and this insulation length is 2 meter so if your pipe is bigger than 2 meter so you can put full length or if you have uh, smaller you need to cut accordingly as per your water supply pipe length so it's very easy time saving job for uh, rubber insulation sections and very fast progress you can get with this you can see the time also is actual time no editing in this So after installing this one we will uh, use glue to join the insulation on the top portion where we cut the insulation longitudinal as you can see here he is using normal brush to apply the glue on the cutting edges of uh, insulation it's very simple installation is to join so guys let me know about this video how you like this video and um, what videos you would like to see and uh, you can see there's a black tape this black tape to be applied wherever the joints as you can see here we joined uh, wherever we inserted the insulation in the split clamps we have made the we applied the tape on it and uh, wherever we uh, joined together insulation when 2 meter after 2 meter you uh, another 2 meter uh, insulation you added so you can apply also that joints so and now we come to foster work for the water supply pipe insulation you can see here the canvas cloth and he has dipped the canvas cloth in the foster glue drum so it is completely you have to completely in insert like a cloth you know normal cloth we used to insert in the water and uh, we take it out so it's same kind of thing you have to do it has to be completely dipped in the drum in first drum and the cloth you need to cut as per your uh, insulation uh, length at side and should be little bit less 
not more so if you see the joints wherever we left it that has to be that will be insulated later because it is uh, left due to the pressure test not been done and you can see it very simple and you know this canvas cloth is coming in longitudinal length big length so whatever length you can cut you can cut easily here the canvas cloth so a proper dipping is very important for the canvas cloth otherwise if you do not dip properly you can see after dry the holes will be you can see the holes in between the canvas cloth so uh, if you dip properly then the finishing also will come properly and you cannot see any hole holes in the canvas cloth so whatever threads are there you must remove it otherwise uh, it will be a problem later on when you install it in the lab if threads are hanging then anybody pulled it out so the insulation for foster will cloth also will come out so you must take care of this small things and proper finishing is very important you no need to do very tight here just you need to wrap it firmly that's all no need to make more tight because the cloth also is not very hard and you cannot uh, apply more force for the canvas cloth just you need to wrap it and just put it on up and then put the proper finishing and you just evenly apply the foster all around it to get the proper finishing that's all your work will be done here so guys please comment on it how you would how you like this video and what videos you need it in future what videos you are uh, looking for and uh, if you want me to improve my videos or anything just comment on it let me know i will come to know only by your comment otherwise i feel i am doing very good job i am trying my best to give you a good video a clear video and uh, accurate i am trying my best i am improving also myself so but i want from you people also to know that what you want to see in the video actually so guys help me support share subscribe and uh, share with your friends facebook twitter instagram support me so this support will give me the confidence and uh, i can give you more more videos inshallah and i'm trying my best to do complete this uh, all plumbing installation hvac and firebutting installation so this is by this way i am almost complete my job here like for the first of works so my big guys are doing all finishing and all three pipes as you can see here this pipe so thanks for watching and uh, till then have a nice day god bless you